Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com. You're listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show with your host, Eric Messini. Real talk from the heart. Now here's Eric. Drifting on a lonely sea. Wishing you'd come back to me. Welcome to another edition of the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I'm your host, Eric May Sr. We do welcome you all to the studio tonight. Uh, we have an awesome, wonderful show tonight. And I uh, have some special guests here in the studio with me tonight. And uh, as we talked about before, we, we, we wanted to dedicate the month of February um, to talk about love and relationship. Um, because we know we have Valentine's Day coming up and all of that. And there's always such emphasis put on you know, love around this time of the year and all of that. So we want to kind of address it. And, you know, those who follow the Heart to Heart Talk Show, we we uh, keep it real. We have a very open dialogue. So we definitely want to welcome you to call in and uh, dialogue with us and, and talk about uh, our topic for tonight. Um, but I want to introduce to the listening audience my very, very special guest. Uh, we have Mr. and Mrs. Marion and Marilyn Smith, uh, which they are friends of mine from uh, Light of the World Deliverance Church. And we do thank you all for coming in. If you want to just say hi to the listening audience. Hello, it's a blessing to be here tonight with you tonight, Elder Mays. Hello, this is Marion. And it's a blessing to be with you guys tonight. <laughs> well, I guess I know you all are kind of a little nervous, right? So, <laughs> so we, um, we, we're going we're gonna to jump right in and get started. Um, so we, we definitely uh, appreciate you all being here tonight. Um, and if you're just now tuning in, you're listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I'm your host, Eric May Sr. And we, uh, we do appreciate you all tuning in tonight and following with us. And we want to just say hello to all of those who are watching us streaming live right now. Um, we're talking about love and relationship. And, um, you know, I, 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 I wanted you all, you all to come on the show because I, you know, I think it's interesting um, to see uh, married couples that's kind of in our age bracket because I feel like that we're kind of in the middle between um, the younger generation that's happening now and kind of the older generation of what was. I, I don't know about you, but I, I came up under kind of some old school teaching, but I came like into a lot of the new fangled relationship terminologies. You know, I had to learn a lot of the terminologies and stuff now. But um, I, I wanted to get an opportunity to just talk with you all and get some of your perspective on, um, you know, different things concerning love and relationship as it relates to maybe your personal relationship, your marriage, um, and things like that. I promise you, I'll try not to put you too much in the hot seat tonight. <laughs> you know, I'll try. I'll try. I can't we promise you that. Now, so. I can't promise you that, but I'll, I'll try. But um, let's let's kind of start it off with, um, I, here's this is just a thought that I had. What do you think causes men and i'm going to start with men what do you think causes men to fall in love you hear people say um you know i fall in love with this person i fell in love with that person you know um what is it that you think what would you think uh would cause and i'm gonna just put it out for both men and women to uh reach that pinnacle place where they declare that they are falling in love with someone um, a lot of times, lust would be that um, for a lot of people. But for myself, it was something that I wanted to have in my life. And I searched throughout the years, and I did a lot of praying that God blessed me with who I'm with. And it took a lot for me to get to that, that point in life to where I want to really settle down and enjoy life and enjoy life with somebody. And when I met my wife, it was a beautiful thing because I— I, I began to sp uh, spend time with her, and I, and I began to know who she really was. And for that reason, that, that put me in that seat. That's who I should be with. So do you think that, um, and Marilyn, what, what do you think, what do you think falling in love means? What, I mean, what when you hear that word, because I, I know um, men, we, we think so logical, right? Yeah. So, we, so, you know, women have that kind of, feely thing you know so 
What what do you think what do you think um falling in love means when we use that terminology what do you think that means Well to me um falling in love would be um finding someone that meets the um criteria that um you are expecting in a person and what i mean by criteria um, a lot of times when people fall in love, they actually might just be falling in love with something about you until okay. they learn of you. Right. You know, some people may say, well, I love her. But what do they love about you? It may be your appearance. You know, and a okay. lot of times people go into marriage on the false perceptions of thinking that I'm in love with this woman. And then they find out this is not the woman that I wanted. Right. You know, she's not bringing the characteristics to the table that I want it to be displayed in a woman. So a lot of times people fall in love for the wrong reasons. So when you're going to fall in love with someone, you need to make sure that that person um, is compatible with you. Make sure that that person is someone that has your best interests at heart, someone that's going to love you genuinely, not artificially. And right. when I say artificially, I mean for, like, material things. Right, right. Because now we see so many divorces because of materialistic stuff. Right. But and, for, and for myself, and, and it's good that she mentioned that, you know, for not what you have and those circumstances, but it's for who she is in the inside. I mean, she's a beautiful woman, and... She's got all of that, but at the same time, it's for who she really is. Right. And, I mean, you can get with anybody and, you know, call yourself in a relationship, but would it last? And we have some of the same value, and that brought us to, you know, this is who I need to be with. This is who I want to be with because of who she really is. Right. Now, yeah. now of course, this 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 is keep it real. This is like keep it real talk, right? So, right. So, so, okay, let's, let's kind of... Let's kind of dig into that a little bit more. Let's just keep that real where we say we don't want it to be about material things and all that kind of thing, right? So, but at the same time, I've heard it, you know, said, you know, I don't want no man that he got no job. He got, he oh, got bad true. credit. He got, he got this, that, <laughs> the other, right? But, but, but now, you know, if we're asked, if we're asked on the spot, that's really not what we talk about. What we say is, you know... Well, you know, as long as he's, you know, he treats me right, you know, all that. But on the real, you know, especially with women, when they get with the girlfriends and stuff like that, and they talk on the real, you know, <laughs> like, nah, you know, girl, he got to have, he got to have this and have that, right? So, but what if, what if, what if they come to the table with all of the trappings and all of the stuff that makes us say, oh, wow, you know, yeah, this, this looks like it's going to be something, right? Mm -hmm. How because we know the we know the terminologies about shacking and all that kind of thing, yeah. right? right? So, but but so how do you how do you relate to a person? You mentioned about them getting to know you. Mm -hmm. So how can they know you though? How can they know you if they don't have the opportunity to Today. be around you like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> how would they ever really get to know you? Have to spend that time. And how would you get to know them? You on the surface Hey, they don't have this, they don't have that, whatever. But if you really got to know them, yeah. you would discover that they have a lot of ambition. They have a lot of potential. Maybe they just needed somebody to come with a positive mentality to help nurture that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what if that's not a value to you, though? What, what I'm finding out is that a lot of times people love to pull the boat off of the package, right? And when the box falls open, everything is all set, ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is hit the... The power button, boom, and it just does everything it's supposed to do, right? <laughs> and, that, and that's how we treat we treat relationships. You know, it's like I want it all to come already ready, functional, and all I got to do is hit this start button. It doesn't work that way. And it way. just do it. It doesn't work like no, that, No, it doesn't right? work that way. It's hard work. Yeah. So why do you all think that they call it falling in love? Why, why, why do you think that they would call it that? Um, yeah, I don't know. You have some people, they like I said, they fall in love for all those wrong reasons. But, you know, like I said earlier, I, 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 I wanted to be with somebody in life. You can go out there all the time, I mean, anytime and uh, fall in love with 
with the wrong reasons. You know, that person has this, that person has that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for the security purposes of it, but for ourselves, it's not based on security. It's pretty much based on, you know, trust. Um, and not only so much trust, but, you know, that, that we feel for one of one another. Right. Yeah, I mean, I used to say to myself, I wouldn't get involved with anybody that has kids, and you know, and I done been there before. But, you know, when I met my wife and, you know, I found out who she was, it, you know, it wasn't a bother, you know. Right. You know, all the, you know, the baggage. And I had baggage myself, but it wasn't something that, you know, we can correct. So, right. you know, with the kids, I mean, I mean, I have three awesome kids and, you know, and, and my wife herself, man, I mean, that knocks all of that stuff out, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's her. It's her yeah. and, and it's the relationship we built throughout the years. Now, Marilyn, I'm going to ask you this. Well, before we, before we go to that, let me just say, if you're just tuning in, you're listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I am your host, Eric May Sr. We do welcome you. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, becoming a part of the Heart to Heart family. And we hope that you'll stick around um, as we are going through. We're talking about love and relationship all throughout the month of February. Um, we're celebrating uh, the whole Valentine's thing and the whole uh, feature of love and relationship. So um, we have in our studio today... Uh, the Smith couple. We, we, we uh, I'm, I'm very excited about having you all here. So let me let me just ask this. Let me just ask this. How much time does it take to fall in love? Because <laughs> <laughs> right. you know, because you know, you you know, you hear it, right? You know, if 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 somebody's if somebody was to say, "Oh, I love you," right, and then they say. How could you love me? You 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 barely just know me. You just me, met huh? me, right? Well, love, <laughs> is, that, right? well, love is of God. So you mm. know, if you have the love of God in you, you can. It's easy to love, right? So, yeah. but it's like, but but what is the what would be the timing of that though? I mean, is there a timing? With no, that, I that? think there's no certain time that you know falling in love with a person, just really getting to know that person for them. You know, so that person so are y'all trying to tell me now? Cause, now for, cause we got people listening. Okay? <laughs> so, are y'all trying to tell me? Now, for me, I try to resist him. Okay, from the beginning. I, okay, yeah. so why? Beginning. Why? Why? Because I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. Okay, I didn't want it. So, what? What made you become ready? Because I followed come on the now, good <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what made you get ready now? Because he, he might not know. He might not really know how you became ready. So this is a wonderful time to explain. Like, how did you become ready? Because um, through prayer and supplication, I prayed and I asked God to send me a godly man. Okay. Send me someone who would love me for me. Okay. That would accept my kids okay. and be a good provider for us and would nurture us. Right. So, um, lo and behold, my sister-in-law was having an event, and I refused to go. But the auction of the Holy Spirit convicted me, said, you must go. And wow. I said, I don't want to go around there. All right. And the, the voice of God came again and said, you must go. Wow. So I went. And that's when he appeared. No, no. Now, was he all dressed and stuff? He was not dressed. Oh, and if I tell you the story, <laughs> right. I might as well tell you, tell you the whole truth. Yeah. Um, he was not dressed. When he came, um, he, had, he was casually dressed and um, very mild-mannered. Um, it was a social event. They had a lot of drinking and stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And um, I really didn't want to be in that environment. Right. Because I had just gotten saved. And... Um, you know, once you give your life to Christ, certain things you just don't want to fellowship with. Right. And um, he began to talk to me. He said, can you come over and sit on the love couch with me? And I said, no. I said, why don't you come over here and sit on this big old sofa? <laughs> Have a seat over here. And um, we began to talk. And uh, at the end of our conversation, I asked him, was he saved? And he said, uh, yeah, I'm saved. I said, no, you're not saved. And he said, yes, I am. I said, no, you're not saved. And so after we left that night, I think he wanted to give me his number. And we exchanged numbers, and he invited me over, you know, to have dinner at his house. Uh -huh. So I went over. We ate dinner, and nothing happened, you know. 
With some black eyed peas there too. <laughs> so, wait, so, wait, so wait, so wait, so wait, so wait, <laughs> wait, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pause right here. For a second, right? <laughs> so, so did you cook? Yeah. I so, so you cook? Yeah. So, you, so, so I don't you, think I cooked since that day. <laughs> Yeah. So, you, so you know, you put you know cook you hooked it up. And oh stuff. man, I made it happen. Like they say, you put your foot in. Yeah, I put my foot in. I mean, I think when she ate, man, band. she found a toenail or something. Man. It was good. It was good. But you know, yeah, it, was since, right. it was such a blessing though, because ever since then, I I haven't I haven't cooked, and my wife she's always provided. Man, wow. I mean, I mean, I have one of the wives, man, that. Throw down from like way back, what? that good eating. That good, oh good man, eating, yeah, that real good eating. <laughs> and so I let her do her thing. I mean, that's where she wow. belongs. I mean, she she's a good cook, and I thank God for her. Wow, wow. Yeah. You're listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I'm your host, Eric May Sr. And I'm telling you what, we are having an <laughs> awesome, awesome good time. We got Marion and Marilyn Smith in the house, and uh, we do appreciate y'all tuning in. We're talking about love and relationships, and we having fun. So we hope that you'll <laughs> tune in with us. Call in, the number is on the screen. So we hope that you'll call in and give us, share us your opinions and share us your thoughts with us and uh, tell us what you think about love and relationship. Uh, okay, so, all right. So let's get back to this love at first sight thing. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, are we declaring that love at first sight is possible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, yes, it is. so we can say safely it is possible. Now, you know... That there would be some old folk people, some that old folks that not. would hear that and say, absolutely <laughs> not. Ain't no such thing. There's no way, right? Yeah. But you know, when I first met my wife, you know, I used to pray a lot. And at this time, I had my bike slid, but I was finding my way back home. And I used to pray a lot and ask God to send me that woman that's going to love me for me, not the material things that I can provide. And God showed me my wife. And when he showed my wife, I didn't run from it, even though it was scary because it was my first time getting married and going that far, as, you know, within a relationship. But we made it happen. We made it happen, and it wasn't easy. Oh my God, it wasn't easy. The road, was, uh, man, because I now, got a now, strong now, woman, now, man. I mean. Now look, now we we not we not gonna try to get nobody in trouble, you know. I know, I know, y'all got to go home. Man. <laughs> we don't have peace in our house. Yeah, we got what's up, man. Oh man, yeah, we're gonna have peace. You know, a lot of people say, a lot of people say, yeah, I got, I got, you know, I got the fine husband, I got the fine wife and stuff, you know. Yeah. But, but it be always be something. It always be something, something in our in our characteristic, our personality, or something that just rubs you a little wrong every now and then. Yeah. Oh but, yeah. But 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 the good thing about relationship, I find, is that. I always say at the foundation, you never let anything touch your foundation. That's you can right. tear down the walls. You can tear off the roof. You can tear off everything. You can destroy everything, break every window, but never let anything touch your foundation. Right. You can burn a house all the way to the ground, yeah. but you can sweep off the ashes and, build up and you again. can rebuild again right yes. on that same foundation. Why? Yeah. Because you set it strong yeah. and, and when you allow something to touch and break up your foundation, then to me, that is a person that should have never gone into a relationship. Right, right. Because anyone that will go into a relationship should go into it. I don't care what happens. I mean, you know, destruction comes sometimes, yeah. you know. Um, it's just like in the natural. You don't never know. You don't know that hurricane is going to turn right in the middle of it and the eye of it ends up going your direction. Right. You know, you listen to the news and it was heading one way. All of a sudden it turned. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now it's destroying your house. You don't right. know. You know what I'm saying? But but the good thing is, is that there is insurance and you have insurance on your house. Why? So that when they sweep off all of the debris. They can rebuild right there on that same foundation, right? Exactly. So we have insurance, right? We exactly. have scripture, we have exactly. all that stuff. We got an insurance policy exactly. that says, hey, we might get beat up along the way. Yeah. But we can rebuild <laughs> yeah. on this foundation, yeah. right? So, so that's have to a go good to thing. the word of God. That's, right. that's a good thing. That's so right. okay, so so let, let me um let's talk about let's talk about relationship. Uh, when when you talk about the word relationship. Um, one of the terminologies you hear today is like there's a thing of course they say friends right friends they got mm -hmm. friends with benefits friends with <laughs> right, go ahead, um. right I mean, so, I, I mean that's, 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 all that's kind of the new that's norm just, huh all the, you know cause, cause when I was growing up when you heard the word relationship you automatically thought 
kind of towards marriage. You know, it was mm-hmm. relationship was kind of like equal to a marriage. You know, right. you, you were talking about married people. You yeah. know, um, everybody else. You know, you were you were truly friends, but. Mm-hmm. Friends back then, you know, was a little different than friends today. Yeah. So, how do you all? How did? How did you see friendship? I mean, relationship when you first met, and how do you feel like your view of relationship has changed now? You know, when I met my wife, it was like um, it was somebody I can really open up to, and. You know, me, I'm the type of person, I keep a lot of stuff in the closet, you know, not as far as hiding anything from anybody, but it's certain things that I don't let out. And when I met my wife, I was, you know, I felt so comfortable with just letting every and anything out with her, and I felt like she was a part of me that it wasn't going no further than there. Right. So, you know, with that relationship there, you know, that meant a lot to me. Now, let me tell you, that that right there um, really is speaking a mouthful um, because I would say if they were honest, most men, of course, I can't say a hundred percent of them, but I could say the majority of them are probably in that same boat. I, I don't, I've never met a man that didn't feel like I can't, I just can't be open. Although we hear our female counterparts say, I want you to just be open with me. Just tell me, just tell me everything, and anything. But what they don't understand is that for men, that's hard. Like, women, that's easy. It's like they just talk to each other all open and they just talk about anything, right? Mm-hmm. But for men, we, we don't we do not do that. So it is a huge deal. It is like a big deal when a man can open up and say, hey, this is what's happened to me. These are the things that I have endured. This is the stuff that I've gone through and, and have never shared it with anybody. Um, and, and I'm going to put this out live over the air. That is a huge deal. If a man is doing that, that is a huge sign that he is expressing trust. a huge trust right yes. there. And I'm going to tell you something. A woman don't even have to tell anybody else to be in violation of that. Her response to it alone can either strengthen that or damage that. Yeah. If if she doesn't give the right response to that right there. I'm going to tell you something. That trap door goes straight down. And, and it the is, door's closed forever. It is over. Yeah. Shades go down. It is not going <laughs> to open up anymore. <laughs> it is over. It's a wrap, as they say. Uh, a lot of it's, times it seems like I had tickets to that point, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> it is a wrap. But when, you, but when you come to that place that you can discover um, in relationship with someone that you you hit a place where you desire to be that open. You desire to, and sometimes that can be scary. It can be scary for a lot of women because while they want to hear everything, they really don't know if they really want to know everything. You know what I'm saying? And when you open up, you go to pouring stuff out, because as the man, we're feeling all good. Oh, I found somebody I can trust. Yeah. And, I can, and we just get to talking and we just sharing and we're just pouring it out and we feel good. Oh, yeah. whew, I finally got that off of me, right? And the woman is sitting there trying to process how she feels about everything that you just said. Yeah. And 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 that those are dynamics that have created uh, issues or challenges in relationships earlier on. So mm. the fact that you were able to do that and... And you all still sustained through that speaks great volumes to your yeah. relationship. And I guess it would have been, it, um, it was pretty easy with myself because, I mean, me coming from like a single uh, parent home, mm-hmm. you know, I see my mom go through it. And I mean, I, I brought it pretty good. So, but to see my mom go through what she went through, I think it was pretty much easy for me because it's like, you know, when I get in this relationship with somebody that I know I'm spending this life with. You know, I would love to open up because I didn't get to see that at home, and I right. and I seen what my mom, the struggle that you know right. she had. Right. So when I did get in a relationship, it was pretty much easy for myself because it's something that I wanted. Right. And I seen that that you know that wife, you know, she wanted that. So you know, it was, and then it was like pretty honestly to me. So you know, I like that type of a bond. I can't speak for the next person, but for myself, <laughs> I like that bond. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So what did you think about that? About him opening up mm-hmm. with me? <clears throat> well, you know, in a relationship, well, we have trust. I trust him. He trusts me. And not only that, but he's my friend. Yeah. So whatever he tells me, he know it's safe with me. Yeah. 
you know. And if it's something that um, he needs help with, I'm there to encourage him or to help him. Mm -hmm. And if I can't help him, I'm going to look for the help that he right. needs, you know. Yeah. So what and would that's you, what a friend would do for what, a friend. What would you say to, because um, there may be other women, there may be single women mm -hmm. um, who are contemplating relationship and things like that. What would you say to them um, to as an encouragement uh, in dealing with relationship or in dealing with uh, maybe maybe some women who have trouble with that kind of a trust um, maybe not so much just because of the person they're with but it could have been from prior relationships or whatever what would you recommend or how would you recommend to them what would you say to them to help be able to develop that kind of trust I would tell them that um, marriage is a ministry first yeah. And it's a sowing ground. It's a ground to sow upon love, patient, and trust, you know. And um, it's hard work. It's not easy. And um, you have to be honest with yourself and honest with your mate. And um, if you're experiencing some type of difficulties in, in your marriage, you should talk to your mate because God honors marriage. And right now there's a lot of marriages that are in turmoil or relationships that are in turmoil. And um, people are getting divorces over unnecessarily things that can be worked out or can either be fixed. So I would encourage you to seek counsel, go to a friend that you can trust, even pick up the word of God itself and go in it and read and, you know, lay a foundation for your marriage. You know, marriage is very sacred. It's something that you don't take lightly. Right. You know, um, a lot of people go into marriage under false perceptions. And it's always a good thing for you to know with a certainty that this is something that you want. Do not get married if you know that you're not going to be genuine with it and you're not going to love that person because you're going to affect somebody. You're going to hurt somebody. So I would say to you, go into marriage with a positive outlook. Go in it with love. Knowing that it is a ministry first. That's your ministry. And um, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your mate to be honest and to um, have trust and to be open with one another. And if it's something that you don't like, let them know, hey, I don't like that. You know, it did not feel good to me what you did to me. Let them know. Don't harbor it in your heart and go out and get envy with that person because they did this to you and you're going to go do that to get even, you know, that's when you bring all this pity pat stuff to the table mm -hmm. and you play the blame game. Well, you did it, so I'm going to do it. You know, that, that's a bunch a of kitty games. It's not a game. That's not marriage, you know. Wow. That's it's, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty awesome because I, I really believe that, um, you know, it's it's challenging i've been through divorce and all that kind of thing and it's hard um you know when you look at uh the christian sector um it's just as bad if not worse than any others when it comes yes, to it relationship is. and yet we talk about relationship from uh from these regards of uh knowing knowing jesus and you know, we talk about church and we talk about all of that and we speak the words that sound so well in, mm -hmm. in terms of relationship. But when it comes time to execute those things towards someone else, uh, more times than not, there's a choice made to preserve and protect self first over another. And, and, and to me, I think if we are honest, that that's an indication for sure that you're not ready for that level of a relationship because it, to me, I feel like um, what I call self-preservation, if you are looking to preserve yourself, protect yourself, mm -hmm. you know, um, people say, if you don't look out for you, who's going to do it? 
well, if you're trying to be in a relationship, there will be somebody that will want to do it, you know? Yeah. So, so when you're saying that, you're saying that automatically <laughs> with a closed heart. So how could you be in a relationship? And that person will put themselves in a relationship posture, but their heart is, you know, it's, so it's, far it's from not, their heart is far from mm -hmm. it. They're not really. They're not giving it. it their all. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And marriage takes maturity. You have to be mature. You know. Yeah. And right. and that's interesting. So when when we speak of having maturity, how would a person develop that level of maturity to engage relationship? You got to put away all those childish things. It's time to grow <laughs> you know? up. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. different level. Now, would you say it's more of an emotional thing or a mental thing? For some people, it's emotional. For some people, it's mentally. Okay. You know, everybody has their issues. Right. And right. only that person know whether it's emotional or mentally. Right. But whatever it is, you know, you need to put it away and grow up. Now, is it possible that some people don't even know or realize... That they have a problem. Um, yeah, that maybe they haven't discovered because to them it's not a problem. <laughs> right, to them it's say, just, you know, just the way I yourself, am. You, 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 you can be your own hero. You yeah. can be your own hero. I'm just you, like When yeah. I think about myself, hey, this, look, this is just how I am. <laughs> no, sometimes you just need <laughs> to change and, that I am. Yeah, and, 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 know, and, this and is the biggest thing you hear is, you know, you just have to accept me the way I am. No, it's and not I, like that. And I say, no, no that's not right. If you love a person enough, you are change. Yes. As a matter of fact, if you're in relationship, you it, is, it is automatically you're going to have to change. You <laughs> yes. have to yes. change. You must you, change. You have to change. Yeah, I don't see in relationships. This is who no I am. Way to, it's no way to involve your life with the life of someone else mm -hmm. and it yeah. not require change. change. There's yeah. no way. There's no way. It, I always look at it like uh, puzzle pieces. Yeah. You know, I used to love doing puzzles. Yeah, I, I had that analytical thing as a kid. I used to love doing puzzles. It was mm -hmm. just something... You know, I would get the box and the picture, the, com the picture on the box would be what you would have to create. So I would just take the box <laughs> and I would just dump all the pieces out all at one time, mix it all up. And then I would I would just enjoy the process of finding those pieces and working those pieces until I finally put it all, all together. together. Right. And what's interesting about that is none of the pieces looked alike, but they all had somewhere to fit. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And, and and if we would look at life like that, we would say, hey, I don't have to be, you know, because I think like what people that. look at, <laughs> people look at relationship where if if I could find somebody that's more like me, then it will fit better for me. You know, it would fit better for me. So I, I don't think I don't think that's right. I think what we need to be finding is we need to find that piece that fits in that spot for us. And yeah. it may not look like it may not look like it fit. It may be shaped totally different. Yeah. But but you have to, and that's where the trust and all that stuff comes in. You have to trust, and you, and you might have to pick different pieces. And you know, you try it. Put it together. But you might like the way this one's shaped. I like this one because it's cute, <laughs> and I like this shape because I like the way it's all formed and curved, right? Yeah. And it don't fit, it's the wrong but we fit. keep trying to make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> we try to make it fit. Uh, yeah. It was like, it's no, that ain't gonna fit. fit. And we're and we're more afraid of letting that piece go, yeah. even though we got all these other pieces to pick from. We we we're afraid to let that one go because the one that we got in our hand is the one that we feel like we like or we want, mm. even though it don't fit. Right. And that that's that's a that's a really uh, interesting place to be. Listen, you're listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I'm your host Eric May Senior, and. Uh, I am having an awesomely good time. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying the show. And uh, some of you may end up uh, looking at this out of the archive, so we hope that you'll enjoy the show when you get a chance to listen to the show. And those of you that are listening live streaming right now, we want to just say hello to you and thank you for tuning in. And we're talking about love and relationships all of this month. And uh, tonight I, I am uh, totally honored. I'm excited to have Marion and Marilyn Smith in the studio with me and they are yes. so awesome I'm telling you, we're having a lot of fun and um, we're just dialoguing and talking about um, love and we're talking about relationship issues and I know some of you listening are, are probably going to be interested in that so listen we're going to take a break right here don't go don't go away oh we have a caller so before we go to break we're going to take the caller caller welcome to the show uh, state your name and give us your questions or comments Praise the Lord, uh, 
up off the maze. How you doing? Derek, what's going on? Hey, brother, how you doing? Praise God. Praise God, how y'all doing? Oh, bless, how you doing, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for calling into the show. Hey, man. Uh, Seemed like we lost the call. Did we lose? Nah, I'm still here. Just uh, I got you on speakerphone. Just sitting here with my wife, and uh, we enjoying the show. We sitting up here look, <laughs> looking at you. Uh, How you doing? But uh, Smith and his wife, we just <laughs> hey, it's a blessing to have y'all on the show and just enjoying the show. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Man. So, is there anything that you heard that um, that may have triggered thought for you, or um, that may maybe y'all? Got a chance to look at each other, or laugh at, or uh, <laughs> anything that's sticking out for you? Yeah, we should we sit up here looking at each other they now, just uh, at me. <laughs> looking <laughs> laugh at exactly what uh. Those are two awesome people there. <laughs> uh, that's about awesome. a marriage and how you have to just really work at it, and like advantage just uh. Melvin was saying, you know, it's not a game. It's it's uh, holy ground, matrimony with God, and you just got to really work at it. Yeah. Wow, Praise that's God. awesome. That is so awesome, man. We definitely thank you so much for calling in, man. We appreciate it, and uh, we uh, hope that it won't be your last time. We definitely look forward to you hearing from you some more. Uh, no, you know I'm gonna be. Uh, I just told my wife I'm gonna hook up the TV to the uh, big screen. I'm going <laughs> in on something. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, I, don't, I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want you seeing me that close, man. You know? <laughs> well, we do thank you so much, man, for for tuning into the show, man. We really do appreciate you calling in, and uh, you and, and if you're still listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show, we do thank you all for tuning in tonight. And I'm your host, Eric May Senior, and uh, we we do thank you for um for for tuning in. And um, we we uh, we we're gonna get ready to go to a break right here. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna talk to the Smiths some more, and we're gonna be talking to them some more about relationship. And maybe we uh, we we're gonna delve into some some more personal <laughs> issues. Right. So we want you to tune in and stay right here. We're gonna be right back in just a minute. The West Central Coast of Florida has an amazing music scene: festivals, clubs, special performances and there's always a lot of live music. The problem has always been getting the word out about events. Then GoTonight.com emerged on the scene. The brainstorm creation of founder Don McKeon, a Sarasota entrepreneur. We caught up with Don and his inspirational friend, Frank Papa, at the Flying Dog Cafe. This is Frank. I'm Don. Frank is the reason that there is a GoTonight.com. He would call me, he would call me repeatedly. Where are we going? Where do you want to go? Where are we going tonight? The website has been a boon to many small clubs. So next time you find yourself asking, where will we go tonight? You've got the answer. The West. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Heart to Heart Talk Show. I'm your host, Eric May Sr. Thank you so much for tuning in. I tell you, we are having a awesome, fun, and good time tonight. Yes, yes. Uh, we hope that you're tuning in, you know, and uh, if you miss it l streaming live, it's okay. Uh, we do archive our show so you can go back and look at the show, but we hope that you'll tune in with us. Uh, we're here for one hour. We're looking to grow the show. And uh, so I just want to put out right here that uh, we are looking for sponsors and advertisers and stuff for the show. Um, so if you know anybody that would like to advertise either to the local area or over the Internet, uh, we're definitely open to talking to uh, uh, sponsors and advertisers for the uh, for our show time and we're looking to try to grow the show so if you would like to donate or participate uh, please make sure that you can uh, email us at heart to heart 40 heart to heart talk 46 at gmail.com that's heart to heart talk 46 at gmail.com and and uh, send us an email let us know uh, if you're interested in volunteering and learning engineering or if you're, uh, we are actually opening to considering for uh, co-hosts 
and all of that for the show. So we definitely look forward to hearing from you on that. Um, I'm excited about being a part of the uh, Talk Wild Network, and uh, we we uh, we're growing quickly. So I, I I'm grateful for all of that. I'm yes. excited tonight because we got <laughs> Marion and Marilyn Smith. I tell you, if there's ever been a awesome, awesome selection of a guest, I tell you what, we we hit it Y'all on hit the, the button. Jackpot we hit it on the button tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I am great. Hopefully, you guys will come back again. We'll, we'll definitely get a chance to talk some more. Yeah. I promise, I won't. I won't make you do the love and relationship thing again. We'll we'll talk about something else. We'll find. No, we can deal with this here. <laughs> Because <laughs> we truly have grown. So, so now, now share with us. Um, how long have you all been married? Seventeen years, four months. Wow, seventeen years. That's if you'd ask me about them four months. I wouldn't have said that. Baby, I don't think you remember seventeen <laughs> years. I would have said seventeen. <laughs> we got to get together on this. <laughs> <laughs> So he get it down to the month. Yeah, he get it down, down yeah. to the time. Yeah. He got down to the time. You might even know the time, the hour, and everything. <laughs> yeah. now, now, we have to say it, that's for good reasons, right? Yeah. You're, oh, yeah. You're enjoying it so I'm much that it. you're Look, tracking the very moments. Ain't yeah. no usually the lady remember all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> I guess because it means so much to me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know, and that's awesome, though, because it, it's it's rare. Like I said in the very beginning, it's rare with couples in our age group. Um, we we're today. I feel like we're struggling when it comes to relationship, because I think there is a battle between how some of the old school teachings were back in the day and how relationship is being formulated today. There's such a disparity and conflict between those two sides. And I think that um, our generations are flowing right through the middle of that. It's a gap. It, it, yeah. And it's it's tough because yeah. it's like, you know, um, there's almost an expectancy of failure. It's it it's like people go into the relationship expecting Respect the it to fail. <laughs> like, and they make it so easy. It's like you could literally go online and you can fill out the paperwork and file everything right online. I mean, they make it so easy to get a divorce. I mean, there's no counseling required. Yeah. Let's talk about that. I mean, <sighs> have we ever been to that place where we wanted to do that? No, I, well, no, I only want to talk about no. that because I, <laughs> I, I only want to talk <laughs> about that. counseling. No, yeah. divorce. <laughs> no, 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 no. We yeah, always made our mind up. We're gonna stick with but it. But why would? Why do you think that it's so easy? Why? Why do you think it's so because easy? Because it's the easy way out. It's the easy way out. So, so do you think that most of the time people do it to keep from having, we talked about this earlier, to keep from having to change? See, if, if, if for me to accept, because you said something so awesome earlier, you said how, you know, you realized that when he was sharing with you, you knew that he was placing trust in mm -hmm. you. Your decision was to respond with friendship. I'm right. gonna let make sure he knows he's safe with me, right? Right. So I think I, I think today that element I think is missing. I, I don't I don't think that people go into it with the full dynamics of what relationship requires. And I think anytime it hits on an area where um, they're not strong in, it hasn't been exercised in, it's gonna require me to change. So. It, to keep me from having to accept this issue, this challenge, whatever it is, it's easier for me to cut and run so that I, because if I have to face this thing, it's going to also make me face myself and the things that I'm not feeling adequate in. And mm -hmm. and if I feel insecure in a certain area, I I don't want to deal in that area. So what do, do y'all think? I mean, do y'all think that that contributes to a lot of the failing of relationships or, um, I mean, because people say it's money. People say it's all kinds of things. But it's somewhere inside of me, I feel like there's more to it than just disagreements of money. I mean, oh, yes. Yeah, a lot of stuff. I could. I could yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. First of all, it's a challenge. And mm -hmm. some people are not up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, if you have someone that's... Um, strong-minded or you know or say um, a little bit more powerful than you are then that might be a challenge for you mm -hmm. and you like 
uh-uh, I'm not going to deal with this. Mm-hmm. So I got to get out of this. Right. So some people run then. Right. And then you got some people that go in it with lust and thinking that they're in love. Mm-hmm. So they've gotten trapped. Yeah. And then you got some people that go into it. Security with just purposes. A sex, a sex trap. Just mm-hmm. a sex. Mm-hmm. Legal then you got, sex. Yeah. And then you got some people that just go into mm-hmm. it for the money. Uh-huh. Some just go into it for the fame. And some just go in it. Just for the namesake, just to say, I got this. Well, I got this now. Thing. Yeah. Now, you now, know, the glamour, the glitz of it. Now, I've heard this too. I've heard, um, I've heard someone say, I was in love with the idea of being in love. <laughs> wow. So we know what that is, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they, well, they when they think when they think about when they thought about being in love, they had you know they had they had this fantasy view they had this view in their mind of what, what being be, in love yes. was going to be and they were in love with that so when they so when they found somebody that they felt like they were in love with they kind of imposed this view in their head and they put that with this person when this person now maybe this person is meeting some of that maybe Maybe mm. there are some parts of them that's meeting some, some of, the of that, right? Uh-huh. But when the other, when the rest of the person is discovered that it doesn't line up with that, then all of a sudden there's this disappointment. Yeah. Then there's an accusation of fraud. You know, you you aren't being what you were supposed to be. Well, no, they they're being themselves. Yeah. But the problem is, is that maybe you were seeing it. In a, in a way that was not fair to the person. And I think what, what happens is a lot of times people, and I think it happens even within marriage. I think sometimes people get married and even in the midst of the marriage, as they are discovered, I call it a discovery process. Yeah. You know, we, you, when you're married, you spend, really, ultimately, you're spending the rest of your life discovering. All the time. Because what I'm I might always like. always find out something new. Yeah, because <laughs> you might cook for me. And you make my favorite dish now. And five years from now, I don't, I don't even, even like that well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> God, We ain't got to worry about that anymore. Huh? Yeah, I, mean, man, I found out. Like, I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat that. And eat good. And eat it. And eat good. Yeah, so, you know, it's, you such, a, it's such a blessing, though, I mean, um, to develop those things, you know, through life, you know, find out new things about it. But, you know, even though we find out something new about I find out something new about my wife. It's not a chance of me leaving my wife. Right. Yeah. I think we don't came too far now. We don't came through those trials, those tribulations. And and we and I'm quite sure we still have some more to face. But you know I'm still I'm staying the race. I'm not tell me, he said that other Marilyn don't show up. Yeah. <laughs> you know when I she said, goes yeah. in and get in that little zone sometimes. <laughs> hey, I babe, said, come yeah, on she showed it. She yeah. don't show up. Yeah, bring Marilyn back. Bring Denise back. Yeah, you know. bring somebody back. Yeah, yeah, bring somebody don't back. Bring I don't like this one right here. And I can tease with her like that. And sometimes and I know she takes it a little more. Yeah. Sometimes she takes it a little bit more serious. In that moment, she ain't yeah, I need yeah, my, yeah. I need my space. Yeah, bring Denise back. Denise that, that hey, fun I person. My, I need my space right now. Yeah. And you're like, hey, I want to talk. No, I need my space. I need yeah. to think. And you know, I shut down sometimes too to a point to, to where I don't want to you know, be bothered. So sometimes um, married people need time for themselves. Yeah. You know, you need time to breathe. Yeah. You know, now, get in your car I, okay. and uh, go for your now, job. I, I, me, I like I, this. Me, personally, yeah. I, I get in my car and I just go for me a ride and I go shopping. I go shopping and I'll come Take back the credit card. and clean <laughs> Take the credit and do card. whatever. Uh. And for him, you know, he go out and he work and he come back. Hey, I'm fine. Yeah. You know, but when I just don't feel like being bought, I say, not right now. You know, let me, I need my time to myself. Yeah. Then you be like, oh, here you go. I said, yeah. I said, come back in a little bit. I said, but now I, I, I need some time for myself. But even through but that. But he understand that. Yeah. Even though you know, through the things that I don't like, we're going to always find things that we don't like in one another. And I don't like that, but I know it's good for the relationship that she does, you know, get that time to vent. Right. So. Right. Um, now, now, y'all got to help me understand this right here. Good, Let me help you, Chad. Go ahead. Because. <laughs> <laughs> because because when when a person is alone, mm. you have all the time in the world, right? You can do whatever. Have you got so much personal time? I mean, you just got. It's all about you at that point, right? You just, it's all about you. Mm. So you get married for the purposes of 
not having that anymore. You you get married yeah. to now say it's now going to be about this other person. It's going to yeah. be about them. It's not about it's not them about, anymore. It's not about that that whole personal thing, quote unquote, right? Yeah. But yet I hear more and more couples talk about needing this personal space, this personal time. So for people who might be listening, clarify because I'm sure there's some there's somebody that's gonna be listening to this show oh, yeah. okay, and they're gonna they're gonna give the amens, way. they're gonna be high fiving, they're gonna be doing thumbs up, they're gonna be like, Yeah, yeah, we need that time. Okay. But there's gonna be some other people that's gonna say, But but I enjoy being around my partner. I I gave up my personal time for the purpose of having a partner to spend that time with. So help help explain that why why is that important and why would it be important for people who might say hey hey man i agree with you you know we need that personal time what what why is that important for me i just need to blow my weave out sometime now i'm just teasing <laughs> 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 oh, glory be to god <laughs> no but on a serious note um some people are married and still alone they go to bed alone yeah you know why because they spouse pay them no attention. And they see each other every day. They're with each other every day. Doing everything together every day. And they still alone. Now these aren't church folks. No, they can be well, church folks. Oh, because let's talk about the church folks. Sometimes you know, they sit back and realize you're not going to rekindle this thing. Because it happens in the church yeah. too. Right. And then you know, th this man or this woman can be in leadership or can just be a lay member mm -hmm. and treat his wife really bad. Or she could treat her husband really bad, but treat all the members very nice. But yeah. then treat his or her wife very wrong, and she's alone. That's when she need that me time. Sit back and, and she think crying. what she doing. <laughs> she crying. Yeah, so that's when she need one of my day. Blow mm -hmm. that hair weave out. Get mm -hmm. in that car and take a ride. And come back and, come back and kiss your husband <laughs> and kiss your wife. <laughs> now, now there's some that will say, there's some, there's that some that will say, uh, as we're, we're coming down to the bottom of the show, uh, 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 <laughs> we're like, just oh, not man, having, just fun. having fun. Yeah, no, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there's some that was, there's some that would say, um, you, you know, I, through it all, I, I, I could have my own personal time, you know, but there are some people who don't need personal time. No, because they do the wrong stuff. Because they spend too much time thinking. Yeah, yeah. and they got idle They'll time. They'll get off to their self and they'll get to thinking. Yeah. And, but they say idle. Yeah. Idle man's devil yeah. workshop. That's so. yeah. right. Yeah. But this, but, but it is said, it is said that the, it, even if you have to separate for a time. Yeah. You make sure you come back together. Oh, we gonna do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's house. mandatory. Yeah. That's right. And they have five. Oh, Y'all better That's know. Mandatory. It. Yeah. All about the makeup. Yeah, exactly. Y'all be seeing us smiling. Y'all be seeing us smiling, don't it? Y'all be seeing us smiling on that road. It's all about come making on, up. Man. <laughs> you showing our thirty-two team now. Wow, wow. But That's a beautiful thing though, because you get a chance to get away from the person, really think about you know what I'm really missing at home, right? And how I'm going to make this really happen, right? And with me, that 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 goes on all the time. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's um, would you all like to come back next week? Sure. What what were the viewers like? Let's ask the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask the viewers. Well, we're gonna tell you. We we we're gonna just safely assume that all the all the viewing audience <laughs> is gonna be okay uh, with you all coming back. Listen, uh, we have another special couple that's going to be here on next week i would i would love for the two of you to come back on next week and we'll, and we'll have all of us here wow. and i think we'll just have a really good, a good time, time and we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about some other topics uh next week i want to get involved with a little bit more nitty-gritty i'm 
we're gonna go we're gonna jump in on next week and we're gonna talk about intimacy wow. in terms of um, love and relationship we're gonna talk about intimacy and and like and, and because what, yeah, we, like what we don't understand is that intimacy does not necessarily mean sex That's right. no, and we, no. we're gonna go into Different that uh, we're gonna talk about communication and all of that mm-hmm. kind of thing in there because we, uh, I believe there's people who are gonna be listening throughout this month and I think they need what what's being put out right now right. I, I really believe that so I, I do I thank you all so very much for coming I appreciate uh, you all thank being you. here thank and you listen so if you've been listening uh, we thank you so much for tuning in to the Heart to Heart Talk Show and I'm your host Eric May Sr. Um, we've been talking about love and relationship today and we have Marion and Marilyn Smith in the house and we want to send out a shout out to Light of the World Deliverance yes. Church uh, Apostle Johnny yes, Jones yes. and Evangelist Jones we do thank you all so much uh, for allowing uh, the Smiths to be here and be part of the show. Yes. Uh, that's my spiritual dad over there, so yes. we do appreciate that. Yeah. And we just send out shout, shouts and over we there. Thank you, uh, Deacon Williams, so much for calling yeah. in. Man. I love that brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we appreciate wow. the Williams calling in. Yeah. And, and, awesome uh, family. And we definitely want you all to, uh, if you're watching on the screen right now, we want you to write down the call in number. And uh, you can always call in live during the show and uh, share and share your thoughts with us, your opinions. And you can also email us at heart to heart talk 46 at gmail.com that's heart to heart talk 46 at gmail.com we definitely will respond back to you and we definitely would love to hear your topic suggestions your feedback and your comments on our shows uh, if you don't get a chance to check us out live streaming you can always check us out through the archives we do archive our shows so we definitely want you to keep going back and check out some of our other shows there's a variety of different kind of programming and shows on talk Wild, so we definitely want you to definitely check out talk, uh, check into some other the shows um definitely stay faithful be here with us every sunday night at 8 30 and uh we will be here uh all this month talking about love and relationships and we got some exciting shows coming up on next month we're going to actually be talking about uh, real estate and finance we're going to try to bring some professionals in here and talk about real estate and finance dealing with uh, mortgages dealing with different kinds of legal issues concerning uh Uh, real estate and those kind of things people who might be thinking about preparing to buy a home and those kind of things so we want to talk about some of that dealing with credit i I know the credit issue is a huge thing so we're going to talk about credit and all that kind of thing so we're we're going to have an exciting time uh on next month as well um we definitely want to announce uh that the heart to heart talk show is uh, considering co-hosts, if you would be, if you're interested in talk radio and want to get an opportunity to get involved with uh, radio broadcast on the internet with the show, um, all we would need you to do is do a voice sample and and uh, send us an email at heart to heart talk forty six at gmail.com and, and just put in the subject line co-host and uh, let us know who you are and send us your uh, bio and all of that and um and then if you can send us a voice sample and then um at some point we're once we get enough candidates we're actually going to do some sample shows with them wow. they'll get a chance to be a co-host with me here and they're going to side chair with me and then we're going to talk about some things and we're going to i'm going to let the listening audience actually be the judge we're going to let them pick the co-host so make sure you stay tuned in to all of the shows because we want your feedback um, and let us know who do you feel would be a good co-host for the show um, so we, we're looking forward to that it's going to be an exciting time we're looking forward to hopefully getting some gifts and giveaways and we're going to try to make this an exciting show um, we are looking at being the leading Christian based talk program uh, in the country we're, we're going to take the country by storm we're looking Amen. forward to growing <laughs> and um, there's there's no other show like the heart to heart talk show we keep it real but we uh we we keep a christian perspective but we we speak to the real topics and that's why we want to hear from you let us know what what you are what your concerns are what your thoughts are and we'll definitely do our best to get it on the show uh we're, we're down here now to about the last 60 seconds so i just want to take this time out to acknowledge uh the talk wide staff and all of them who uh, make the show successful in in uh engineering and, and all of the broadcasting and we do thank you all most of all for 
the l- listeners and those who paying attention online. And uh, we definitely thank you for tuning into the show. Once again, thank you so much to the thank Smith you. family. <laughs> thank, thank you all. Thank you. And uh, we thank everyone who has called in and all of those people who are involved with the show. And uh, I'm your host, Eric May Sr. And uh, we do hope that you will tune in on next week. We're going to continue to talk about love and relationships. We're going to talk about intimacy as it relates to relationship on next week. Um, we have another couple that's going to be here and we're looking forward to that and we're going to have the Smiths to come back and talk some more with you so I know you enjoyed them so don't miss the show on next week and uh, make sure you tune in sharply at 8.30pm and we're going to be right here. I'm your host Eric May Sr. You've been listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show and we do thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on next week. (laughs) You've been listening to the Heart to Heart Talk Show where your host is Eric Mays Sr. You can email questions, comments, topic suggestions to hearttoheartalk46 at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in to talkwad.com, the world's fastest growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com.